Hello guys, hope you're all alright. Martin here, hiya. Yeah. Um, I've just come on to do a, a quick video. Um, feels ages since I've done an actual proper, proper video, like talking and, and that. Um, so this is going to be a little um, sort of a mixture. It's going to be a very small Poundland haul. And what I'm eating tonight. <clears throat> so this is some of the things that we we me and mum brought when we went out shopping today um so went into poundland and they've got all their christmas and halloween stuff out and i saw a few things that i wanted to get halloween wise sorry for that light it's the light shining down it's really bad um very quickly i brought um a, a tripod for 55p from uh, Tesco's um, the other day after work but it's it's all right it's um thing is I have to put my phone like that and then when I'm believe it or not I'm still looking in the camera but it doesn't look like I am so it just goes really weird so it's just easier to just do this I suppose um yeah, so they've got all their Christmas stuff out, Christmas cards, Christmas decorations, and they've got all their Halloween stuff out as well. Didn't have as much as they normally do. I don't know if um, that's because we're still in September and they're probably getting more out, you know, nearer the time. I don't know. But um, I wanted to do like a, a little walkthrough video or take some pictures of what was in my Poundland. But it was so, so busy. It was just, um, which was unusual for a Monday. And there was all like people getting in the way and, you know, and then. So, um, so I didn't bother, but I will. I will one day. Um, so, right, let's crack on. I'm going to show you the bits that I brought in Poundland. This is the Halloween stuff my bag <clears throat> oh yeah so as you saw in my Tesco's haul that was a pound chalkboard um so I'm gonna do a little DIY with that I'm not gonna sit chalking on it um I'm gonna get some big sticky um letters and I'm gonna DIY it up for Halloween and put something spooky on there, you know, um, some writing like boo or something called, you know, happy Halloween or something like that. Um, so I'll probably um, in the week pop into uh, like Hobbycraft or the range to get some big sticky letters to put, put on there. Right, anyway, I will get to my Halloween haul and show you what I brought. Right, here we go. Bear with. Mm. So, the first thing I brought was the freaky fabric. Mm. Um, sometimes I call it creepy cloth. I think it's, mm, I suppose it's the same thing. Um, I don't know if Poundland's changed its name. I think it used to be creepy cloth. And did they change their name to F Freaky Fabric? Or is it just me? Or is that what the Americans call it? Creepy Cloth? I'm not sure. Mm. Maybe you can tell me. Fun. So, um, so yeah, I bought some of that. Sorry, it's not really picking up. So, yeah, bought some of that. The Freaky Fabric. Obviously for a pound. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm making you a bit dizzy, aren't I? Ooh. And this, I think is so cool. So this is a light up spider web. Light up spider on web. Yeah. Uh, can't really see the web properly. Sorry. Oh, there we go. It's picking up a bit now. Glittery web with the green spider on. And that somehow lights up. Um, I'm going to uh, open that up near Halloween time. I know, like in the States, they're already like fall and Halloween. Uh, 
Uh, that's cool. I wish I was in the States. I wish I was in America, like, you know. But, uh, yeah. At the moment, like, decorating for fall and all that. Such beautiful colours. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be decorating for Halloween. I won't be putting too much out outside. Um because like where the weather's so bad it, it just gets ruined i mean some of the candles up the tea light candles and everything they all got waterlogged last year and you know so i probably won't bother it's a shame because i like to put loads of stuff out in the garden to you know to entice the trick-or-treaters but i'll probably put a, a couple of pumpkins out on the like porch roof you know the top of the door um so the other things i brought were the pumpkin lights Pumping, pump, pumpkin lights. There's eight in there. Yeah, I thought they were cute. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm not sure if I were to put them round the um, fireplace, my mantelpiece, because I'm just going to dress that up. You know, um, I'm not sure I have to put like fake cobwebs around there and stuff, or or the creepy cloth, or you know. Um, so I'm going to yeah decorate my um my mantelpiece and i'll be taking pictures and doing a little video uploading it onto facebook not facebook youtube sorry what am i thinking um yeah putting it on youtube for you guys to see and i absolutely bloody love these first time i saw these was when um one of the ladies that who's subscribed to me, one of my friends, and I've subscribed to her, been um, friends for a couple of years now. We've never met, but Sharon Clark um, was creative vlogs, but now Disney vlogs. And she's so cool. And she does, um, she was in Poundland doing a, a Halloween walkthrough. And and I, that's when I spotted them. I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to get these. Um, so light up candles. I've actually, um, I couldn't wait. I actually poured the little clippy bit out to try them. They're so glittery though. They're just like, so if you pick them up, beware, you're going to have like a handful of glitter. So there we go. Oh, and they look so realistic. They are so cool. And for a pound... So I'm going to be putting them on my mantelpiece. And I bought two of those. Bought two. Hmm. Chuck them back in the bag. And that's it of Halloween stuff from Poundland. And the only like snacky bit I brought was these chocolate and caramel peanut crunch. I thought they take they sound nice. I haven't tried them. So a little healthy snack. Because I'm fed up of being fat now. Um I've noticed I've been putting on a little bit of weight. Um and I messaged um on Facebook I messaged a lady who runs Slimming World who um the the hall where they um, hold it, um, it's near where I live. So I'm going to go along tomorrow morning and just check out, like, because I just need that extra kick up the backside, you know. I need to, like, I start diets and I'm on them for a couple of weeks and I just get bored and I'm back to square one again eating crap. Um, but uh, it... It's ten past seven. I am eating quite late, but I've been quite good throughout the day. I had porridge for breakfast today, and then I had poached egg on toast, and that's all I've had really. So I'm being a little bit naughty. I'm having a Kit Kat. I am having a Kit Kat. Mm, naughty, 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 and got me roast chicken and thyme sensations. So I probably won't eat all those tonight. I'm going to try and be good. So, yeah. And I made a tomato and mayonnaise 
sandwich, white bread with loads, with a little bit of pepper and a bit of salt sprinkled on top. And I got that idea from Southern ASMR sounds, Mary, um, who um, go and check her out, you know, because I subscribed to her and she did a video of making a tomato sandwich and it is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like snack out now because I didn't have a, a really big breakfast or big dinner. Um, um, yeah, and that's my lot. And so a little update on mum. She's, she's not too bad. Um, she had, um, the blood tests last Wednesday, she got all clear on the um, blood and her livers are clear and um, kidney is clear as well. And uh, she's still having the chemo and um, they did say, you know, it would run for six months. They they always tell people that, you know, just in case, um, but it probably won't go uh, through right till December. Um, <clears throat> um the last time the nurse will see her at the hospital is on the 30th of October. It was going to be the 20th of November, but it's now the 30th of October. And they said to her, we want to see you for the last time after your last chemo. So it'll probably be ending in, in like maybe October, late October, um, November, you know maybe so um but it fingers crossed it won't run like through to december and we'll have a good christmas we can think about christmas presents and you know just enjoying our christmas um but she was a little tired the other day because she's back on the tablets again and uh and having the home injections um but she went out shopping today with me and uh she yeah up doing things so she's not too bad she's she's yeah she's doing all right yeah um so i'm gonna give slimming world a try tomorrow the, uh, the lady who runs it she said just come along and just check it out see you know what it's all about it's like i say i, I just need that little bit of extra motivation you know because i never stick to it you know and um, she said, if you feel it's not for you, you can walk away from it any time, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just want to get a little bit more fitter. Mm. So I hope you guys are all right. Mm. And I hope you like this video. I can't really think what else much to say, really. Um, just, like... Um, yeah, the last sort of week, couple of weeks or so, I've just been like really, really stressed. Um, but I, I thought, oh, do I come on here and like tell people? Um, just like I brought a new television and the guy that come out to do it, he didn't program it in properly. And I've had to like tune it in, then do it again, do it again. And then like link it up to my Wi-Fi. I just had nothing but problems with it, it cutting out and everything, you know. Um so yeah and then things with my uh working tax credit because um although i work i do um title to working tax credit because um i'm on uh i'm on such low hours i'm only on um 15 and a half hours and um and also like because of my disability my past because i i suffer with um anxiety and like I've had depression in the past so that like enables me to you know um to, yeah qualify for it and I haven't been paid my working tax credit for about nearly two months and I've kept ringing up and you know kept getting fobbed off by different people oh we'll put your money in but we'll you know you know um then I go to the cash point it's not in um but yeah, I keep just getting told different things and, um, but, um, 
hopefully fingers crossed it's getting sorted so it's just been really and you know i'm worrying about mum and that and work and stuff so just been a little bit stressed out but um other than that i'm okay we're all, we're all good look all good yeah um but now i've bored you with all my problems um i'm gonna go and stuff my face yeah um i've got a glass of milk as well for a drink yeah got me milk um so yeah that's it guys um thank you thank you so very much for watching my videos thank you for, thank you for all your lovely comments um my good friends you do always leave such lovely comments and i do really appreciate it um and you know i'll always get back to you um yeah just thank you for all your lovely comments like i say i, I appreciate it i really do um so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up that's the thumb that i've got my hands full now yeah so yeah you know the drill give me a thumbs up um and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell and that just lets you know that i've uploaded a video so again you know your marty loves you and thanks for all your love and support and i will see you later Mwah.